There goes Breton and a couple of chicks. What's going on? Went straight past. Yeah. Right. Woo. It's cyclone season and I mean, I'm still kind of thinking of heading north and hiding out somewhere. But a few things I need, I need some more paint, for my, I need some more varnish, I, I, my spear snapped. So that's like a hundred bucks for the new spear for a shaft. Uh, and all adds up and not working, getting the little money that I do uh, from Patreon. Um, although it's, an, it's enough to keep me going. If I get something, you know, going wrong, I've got myself some wire, so I'm gonna rewire this uh, this anchor winch in. And a friend of mine's got happens to have a spare switch, so. What's going on? It's pretty gusty. Oh, the an full full anchor stretch then. We get these bullets coming over this little headland here. Probably about 30 knots or something. But we're sitting here pretty well other than we're rolling around like crazy. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna finish my, uh, my salad tuna wrap. And finish my beer. Happy weekend, guys. Thinking about those uh, people who have lost their homes in the fires and I think the worst is yet to come so uh, do the right thing and uh, get out of there you know don't stay with your home uh, it's not safe just get out of that, that area that uh, would be my advice and yeah you can see these fires here on the mainland It'll make for some interesting sunsets. It's about the only positive. But yeah, this is a it's a beautiful place and I've really enjoyed Great Keppel Island. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna be heading south back down towards the Gold Coast uh, and finding some work uh, until cyclone season's over. Everyone's heading south. I'm gonna have to do the same. I'll still make a few uh, vlogs and uh, and certainly I'll, I'll shoot on the way south uh, I'll probably go the outer reef so that'll be a bit nice some uh, something different uh, I gotta try and fix my winch though man it's been a pain in the ass I'm rolling check this out can't be good for the rigging this huh you look at this. Well, that's a lot of wear on my rig. Constantly doing that, it's gonna wear thin. I mean, they've been going for this long, but it'd be interesting to see what the bolts are like in there. Certainly, if I was to take on uh, the horn, which I haven't talked about, but. If I was to take on the horn, I would uh, be looking at all that sort of stuff. I mean, even even if I'm not taking on the horn, this stuff uh, needs to be looked at. I was up the top of the mast, like I said, and everything up there needs greasing. 
I can't do it now because the boat's rolling so sort of violently that I'd probably get thrown from there. <laughs> we are rolling. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rolling uh, and uh, love you and leave you. Have a great weekend. But don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, I remembered to say it. There's something, whoa. Man, the boats are rolling. I mean, I don't mind it. Everyone else seems to, everyone else is sitting there calm. Look at this. Nobody's moving. Everyone's sitting pretty bloody still. It's the old narwhal. I think it's the swell that's hitting the side of the boat here and it's perfect. Look, at, yeah, look at that. Yeah, there it goes past. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep your boat a rolling. All right, see ya. 10 miles off the uh, east coast here. It's all the way out to sea. Seen some pretty interesting uh, images from outer space. Pretty sad. Good for, uh, good for photography. Bad for people's uh, homes and belongings. chain's a bit twisted uh, so it has a little bit of a jump now and again Six o'clock in the morning and it's got to be like 30 degrees there's no breeze in this uh, this smokes just horrible see that red on the water it's incredible The poor boy changes his clothes and puts on aftershave to compensate for his ordinary shoes. And we are sleeping at the doorway. What a surreal morning. It's just eerie I can't even you only just make out the islands this morning uh, and that's with the sun coming straight across <coughs> it's just it's horrible <coughs> I can feel it on my chest already but the anchor works so well a little too well almost ripped uh, just yeah the anchor came in so quickly uh, it's losing link still I think it's got it uh, people are like the, the chains too small for the gypsy but I'm absolutely certain it's just the chain so badly twisted if any one of you guys has got a way of untwisting chain I'd love to hear it uh, remember I don't go to 
to the uh, marinas. So on a day like this, I thought I could just throw all the chain out without the anchor maybe and just magically untwist it. I don't know, I've got, there's gotta be a way of doing it. How do you untwist an anchor chain? Pale, pale yellow sun shining in my eyes. Say she's crazy, she got diamonds on the soles of her shoes. Do you do? Well, that's one way to lose these walking blues. Diamonds on the soles of your shoes. Do you do? She was physically forgotten, but then she slipped into my pocket with my car keys. Do you do? She said, You're taking me for granted because I please you. Wearing these diamonds. And I could say, Ooh. as if everybody knows what I'm talking about, as if everybody here would know exactly what I was talking about. I'm talking about diamonds on the soles of shoes. 